the Electronic Water Gram Water Balance Calculator. The saturation index is a mathematical calculation made to determine if pool or spa water is chemically balanced. Balanced water should prevent damage to the vessel surfaces, equipment, and piping caused by corrosive or scaling water. Water with a saturation index between negative 0.5 and positive 0.5 is considered balanced. Taylor's unique electronic water gram water balance calculator will do the necessary number crunching for you. By entering the test results for pH, total alkalinity, calcium hardness, cyanuric acid, total dissolved solids, and water temperature, the saturation index, or SI, can easily be determined while poolside. When water is found to be outside the recommended range, indicating that it is unbalanced, you may also use the water gram to play with different treatment scenarios to see which of the chemistry factors makes the most sense to adjust. Playing with hypothetical changes is faster, easier, and far less expensive than adding chemicals and waiting to see the impact. In addition to determining the saturation index values, Taylor's electronic water gram can be used to perform basic math, namely addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Balanced water. Before using the water gram, use your Taylor test kit to measure the pH, total alkalinity, and calcium hardness levels. If you were able to, also determine the cyanuric acid concentration, total dissolved solids level, and temperature of the water. Otherwise, default values for these less important parameters can be used. For the first demonstration, we will be using values that will give us a saturation index that indicates the water is balanced. 1. Press the On button to begin or to clear all previously entered test values. 2. Press the pH button. Enter 7.5 and press the Equal button. Pressing the Equal button loads the value into the calculator. Note, if the value entered for any parameter is above or below the normal range, the maximum low or high default value will be displayed. You may either accept the default value or enter a new value. Then press the Equal button to continue. 3. Press the AL button for total alkalinity. Enter 90 and press the Equal button. 4. Press the CH button for calcium hardness. Enter 300 and press the Equal button. 5. Press the CA button for cyanuric acid, also known as stabilizer or conditioner. Enter 30 and press the Equal button. 6. Press the DS button for total dissolved solids. Press the Equal button to accept the default value because we do not have a TDS test result. 7. Press the Degrees Fahrenheit Degrees Celsius button for water temperature. Press the Equal button to accept the default value of 78 degrees Fahrenheit. You could press Degrees Fahrenheit Degrees Celsius again to display the default value as Degrees Celsius. 8. Press the SI button for the Saturation Index calculation to begin. It may take a moment. The SI is shown to be 0, 0.00, meaning the water is perfectly balanced. Corrosive water. For this next demonstration, we will be using values that will give us a saturation index indicating the water may be becoming corrosive. Water with an SI below negative 0.5 tends to etch or pit contact surfaces or eat away at metal fittings and pipes, creating metal stains. 1. Press the on button. 2. Press the pH button. Enter 7.2 and press the equal button. 3. Press the AL button for total alkalinity. Enter 70 and press the equal button. 4. Press the CH button for calcium hardness. Enter 220 and press the equal button. 5. Press the CA button for cyanuric acid. Enter 70 and press the equal button. 6. Press the DS button for total dissolved solids. Press the equal button to accept the default value. 7. Press the Degrees Fahrenheit Degrees Celsius button for water temperature. Enter 85 and press the equal button. 8. Press the SI button for the saturation index calculation to begin. The SI is shown to be negative 0.58, indicating the water is trending towards corrosive. In this scenario, all the chemical parameters are within established guidelines, yet the SI indicates treatment is advisable. 
The easiest, least expensive parameter to adjust would be total alkalinity, but what should be the target? To find out, do not clear the present values. Instead, 1. Press only the AL button to adjust this value. It will show you previously entered 70 for total alkalinity. Now, enter 80 and press the Equal button. 2. Press the SI button. You will see the index has fallen, but only to negative 0.51. Not enough. Because you understand the linkage between total alkalinity and pH, you realize that by raising the total alkalinity from 70 parts per million to 90 parts per million, you probably raise the water's pH a little too. So to see the total effect on your hypothetical treatment, go back and make adjustments to the alkalinity and pH. Press the AL button and enter 90 and press the equal button. Press the pH button, enter 7.3 and press the equal button. Press the SI button. With this adjustment, the index falls to negative 0.35 well within balance. Your next step is to consult the directions on your alkalinity up product to learn how much must be added to raise the total alkalinity by 20 parts per million. Alternatively, you could check treatment table G in Taylor's 2004B treatment guide. Scaling water. In this final demonstration, we will be using values that will give us a saturation index that indicates scaling water may be becoming a concern. Water with an SI above positive 0.5 tends to form a white film on surfaces or leave crusty white deposits on surfaces, including the insides of pipes. 1. Press the ON button. 2. Press the PH button. Enter 7.8 and press the EQUAL button. 3. Press the AL button for total alkalinity. Enter 150 and press the EQUAL button. 4. Press the CH button for calcium hardness. Enter 300 and press the equal button. 5. Press the CA button for cyanuric acid. Enter 30 and press the equal button. 6. Press the DS button for total dissolved solids. Press the equal button to accept the default value of 1000. 7. Press the degrees Fahrenheit degrees Celsius button for water temperature. Enter 80 and press the equal button. 8. Press the SI button for the saturation index calculation to begin. The SI is shown to be 0.56, indicating scaling water. In this scenario, all the chemical parameters are within established guidelines, yet the SI indicates treatment is advisable. The easiest, least expensive parameter to adjust is total alkalinity. But what should be the target? To find out, do not clear the present values. Instead, 1. Press the AL button to adjust the total alkalinity value. The value you previously entered, 150, will appear. Now enter 140 and press the equal button. 2. Press the SI button. You will notice that the index has fallen, but only to 0.53, which is not enough. Because of the linkage between total alkalinity and pH, by lowering the total alkalinity from 150 parts per million to 120 parts per million, you have probably lowered the water's pH a little also. To see the total effect of your hypothetical treatment, press the pH button, enter 7.6, and press the equal button. Press the SI button. With this adjustment, the SI falls to 0.26, well within balance. Your next step is to consult the directions on your alkalinity down product to learn how much must be added to the water to lower the total alkalinity by 30 parts per million. Alternatively, you could check treatment table H or I in Taylor's 2004B treatment guide. Taylor's knowledgeable customer service representatives are available to provide technical assistance about our products. Call 800-TEST-KIT.